It's 11 o'clock here in downtown central Kiev. This morning we woke up to news of airstrikes across the country. It started before dawn. Ukraine woke to explosions around the capital. Five o'clock in the morning, I heard explosions. I didn't know how to react. As Russian forces are getting closer to the city, people are streaming out of it. Everyone was saying he will fall in two, three days. We cannot let this happen. Ukrainian citizens are taking up arms to defend their country. So I'm here with Sviatoslav and we're uh, driving together to the front line. I made a choice to stay in a place where history of my country and my nation will be written. Do your family know you're here? Absolutely not. They think that I'm still at Kyiv, uh, sitting safely with my cat. Oh, oh, oh. We made it to Erpin. Yeah, we are in Erpin city. That's great. Heavy fighting has engulfed this town. Go, 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 go. I'm uh, on the outskirts of Kiev right now, and I'm uh, heading to, to see some of the evacuations taking place. С кем они воевали здесь? Жителями этого дома? Посмотрите. Мамочка, я прошу тебя. Будь ласка, с Бердыщева. Юра, Николаевичка. Бомбер. Его траву, чтобы мы забрал его. I just thought they're going door to door here. What was happening in Bucha was systematic. What does it say? No, like Russia power. We have a story here in which everybody's involved. No kind of symbolic gesture is enough. Action is needed. You can't help but feel that you're witnessing something generation defining. The reason Kyiv's defences weren't breached is because of the resistance put up by the men and women defending Ukraine in Irpin and Bucha and in other places like Borodyanka. What do you think will happen? Do you think you'll win? Uh, if we survive Stalin, we'll survive this.